Hey everybody, time for another comment show. Jack Scalfani here from the Cooking with Jack show and the Jack on the Go show and the F is in Frank and the Letters from Jack. Wow, I'm a busy guy. So much going on. Uh, I've got the uh, the show blowing up. I'm going back to YouTube LA for another week. Uh, Burger Wars and Taco Wars are doing amazing. It's You guys are crazy. You guys are such foodies. Um, we got Jack Jr. blowing up on the Cooking with Jack show. Wow, boy, he got like record number of views uh, posted. So like, I think he got like 6,000 views in one day. So you guys, uh, thanks for showing love to Jack Jr. Uh, he's my everything. Uh, playlist of Jack Jr. is coming where I'm going to put all his videos in one playlist for those of you who want to watch him, uh, and see how he's grown up over the years. And uh, I'll get that together. Also this summer, um, Jack Jr. and I have been discussing that we're going to do a series of videos that are strictly Jack Jr., so it won't be a lot, maybe a four or five part series uh, where he can do some cooking and he can kind of show the younger kids that anybody can cook and you can start now. That's the whole message of my show. I love it. I think it doesn't matter how old you are. Start cooking now. Okay, now let's start answering questions. And I'm going to start right now. Who do we have? Snooky 65 I've never heard of this recipe before. It looks amazing, even if there are weenies in it. Yes, I said weenies. And uh, this recipe is the Discada recipe. If you haven't seen it, it's delicious. Anybody can make this dish. It's awesome. It's a northern Mexican dish. Thank you, Christian, for sharing it. And uh, it's just, I was blown away. It was so great. And not a lot of people know this dish. There are a few people who said, yes, I've heard of it, or yes, I've made it. But everybody was very surprised with that international dish. Very excited about that one. Who do we have? Javier Bardem. Hey, Jack, can I stop... Uh, stop to can I substitute tomato sauce or pasta? I don't like tomatoes that much. Yes, you can put whatever you want in there. Uh, you could do another vegetable or just leave it out. You can do whatever you want on discada, just like any of my recipes. You don't like garlic? Pull it out. You want mushrooms? Throw it in. Do whatever you want. That's what's great. These are basic recipes, and you can alter them. You can add heat. Uh, cut the jalapenos up if you want to make the dish hot. Leave them whole if you want it mild. Okay? So have fun with that. Arizona Bobby Boucher 10. Hey Jack, what type of hot dogs would be best? Uh, he is suggesting, I guess he likes all beef hot dogs. Uh, Hebrew National or Nathan's. Okay, I will slap you if you use Nathan's because they're very expensive. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, don't use Nathan hot dogs. If you're going to have Nathan hot dogs, just eat them regular because they're very pricey and they're very good. Uh, go with go with any other hot dog you want. Go with Oscar Mayer or Hebrew National, whichever one you prefer. Go with beef, pork. Uh, it's all to your liking, okay? And uh, if you're going to have Nathan's, invite me over. Nathan's are good. Let's see. Roger571967. What is the pan called? The Discada pan. It's either called the Disco or uh, on Amazon, I think they're calling them... My buddy Eldon just wrote that Amazon has a 22-inch... They're called Comal? Comal? C-O-M-A-L. Uh, they also have a 16-inch. 22 and a 16. So... You know, everybody calls them something different. You can get them at Mexican markets, at swap meets, or you can order it online. It's a disco or a como. And then we have Solex Sup. Thank God Jack wasn't on top of Jack Jr. in this episode. This is the ice cream magic video that my, my son did all by himself. He did an amazing job. He's awesome. Yes, I was still all over him, but you didn't see me because I was behind the camera. And I'm always going to be all over my son. I really am sorry you don't like it, but better that I'm more of a father than less of a father. And that's my belief. So I'm going to continue to care about my son, make sure he doesn't hurt himself, uh, make sure he's okay, and teach him to do the right thing. Because in a few years, he'll be leaving this household and moving on for his own life. So I've only got a little bit of time to take care of my son and teach him right. And that is my total theory and philosophy. So uh, get over it. All right. What else? Uh... Paletta Cookie. Paletta Cookie asks, uh, Jack, how much ice cream can you fit uh, in there? In the Ice Cream Magic, it's not a lot. It's a little tiny dish of ice cream, but it's not about the amount. You'll probably get three or four spoonfuls. Uh, it's really good. It came out great. But it's not about how much ice cream it makes. I know a lot of you are like, oh, you could do it in this, you can do it in that. It's just that it's fun. And if you remember when you were a young kid... The little things uh, were fun to you, so buy it if you want to 
have uh, fun with your child and watch them shake it or watch her shake it and giggle and and they'll do it about 10 or 20 times you know over the life of that product but you know what it's worth it let them be kids let them have fun all right i think that's it keep the questions coming and i'll keep the answers coming you guys take care i'll see you on the next episode Bye bye